So, once again, um, the thing that sucks having Lincoln LS due to the fact they don't really make that many kind of parts and stuff. So if anything, you have to make something work or get something custom. Well, I have the Lincoln LS V8. This is the 2000 through 2002 year generation. Um, I was always tired of it overheating. And people make videos about how they do an electric fan. And this one dude with the black LS did one, but he didn't even show, honestly, like, even where the fan was placed, really. And he said he tried it for 10 miles. Well, I did the same thing. I've spent quite a bit of money on fans. Um, the first one was just simple, just to kind of see where I'd be at. The second one was, like, 250 About. Well, I finally found a fan for the Lincoln LS that is actually easy to install and fits perfectly. At the moment, I just have zip ties just holding it because the reality is it's pinched right along the side of the radiator. And I have so much more room now. It, I don't need to use the previous shroud. Um, it's honestly great. I keep my engine down. I abuse. I will not lie. I, I abuse it. I take it out quite a bit and push it pretty hard. The whole point, honestly, I drive it kind of hard to break it just so I can fix it again. Um, but no, it's been working absolutely great. It's called a derail performance. I have this. I got this off Summit. Um, I've tried so many fans. And either I kept overheating or it just wouldn't work right. And this fan, I'll admit, was perfect. And it's really easy to install. It's n it's not this one. It's the dual A12. Um, I got it on sale, so I'm not sure what the price would be now. But if you're trying to put an electric fan on your LS, the derail is the best one for it. It keeps my car cool. Once in a while, it will spike and get up a little bit above quarter, but then it will drop within the same 10 seconds after I floor the gas. And wiring, honestly, is, is very simple. It's really not that complicated. You have your two grounds. I brought my grounds, and I stopped it here. Then each fan is, has a different power setup. So with my power... All I simply did was I got me a relay from AutoZone. It really wasn't that much. I have the box for it too, so you know which one. I got two of them. Comment piece. There's the relay number. I plugged the power in to the 87. power went to 87 my two fuses that go straight into the fuse box and honestly this I have had no issues uh, nothing wrong with the link in itself I mean it is kind of a crap way to cover it but I haven't really had a time to cable manage it really One second. Now, you always want a fuse before it connects through its own power before you go there. That, that, that is very important. You do not want to cause an electrical fire. You can damage your vehicle or even worse. Now, the ground being based already directly to the fan, the power goes straight to the top, and then the fuse cuts off straight from the bottom, and then play with the left and the right is I have it set up to a switch a thermostat. The thing is I broke the thermostat so for it to work I have to plug in and disconnect it each time. I plan on putting a switch so I honestly just had it constantly running the whole time. K 
cable you want to see. Oh, um, I have another cable that comes here. It goes straight to the thermostat. The thermostat I had to um, buy aftermarket, but if anything, that's just a dual prong. You can easily get a switch. I just lost it. You just have a third ground cable connected. But if anything, the biggest thing is finding out which fan honestly works with the Lincoln LS. And it's the perfect fit. And like I said, I haven't honestly like tied it down yet. I plan to. Um, I just haven't gotten to that yet. The only thing really that'll kind of be a pain when sliding it down is that little pipe right there. You kind of got to move just a little bit. But in all honesty, after that, it's great.